Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's expand our ability to find the number of macrostates and number of microstates when we're dealing with energy levels and small particles, for example electrons, that could exist in different energy levels. So here we have a fairly simplistic example. We have three distinguishable particles. Let's call them A, B, and C. They're placed in four different energy levels. Let's call them N0, N1, N2, N3, such that the constraint is that the total energy of all three particles together are three times E. Now the cursive E represents, well, a fixed amount or a quantum energy. So we can say that the energy level of the first level is zero quantum energies. The energy of the first level, or, or N sub zero, so the second level, N1, is equal to one quantum energy level. The next energy level, N2, has an energy of two quantum levels, and here we have the energy of three quantum levels. So we have four different energy levels that the electrons can exist in, the particles or electrons can exist in. We have the energy of each level defined. We have a constraint that the total energy of all three particles together can have to be three quantum energies. And so what are the different number of microstates and microstates that we can have? So an interesting example. So the number of microstates really depend upon the configurations of how the electrons are divided in the energy levels. We could, for example, have two of the three particles in the N0 energy level where there's no energy and one particle in, a, in the N3 energy level where there's three quantum energies which then equals the total that we're required to have. So what are the different ways in which the electrons can be arranged in that configuration? Well, it turns out there's three. We can have C in that energy level, we can have B in that energy level, or we can have A in that energy level with the other two in the energy level that has zero energy. So there's three different microstates in the one macrostate where we can have this kind of arrangement or configuration. If we want to use the method, the mathematical method, to, to compute the number of microstates, again, the total number of states, and then depending upon how many we have in each level, two in the zero level, one zero in the one level, zero in the two level, and one in the three level, that comes out to three microstates, which of course matches that. The thermodynamic probability is that there is three mic microstates, so that's a thermo thermodynamic probability, but since there are a total of 10 different microstates in all the various configurations, the normalized thermodynamic probability would be 0.3 or 30% of the time we would have this kind of configuration in that particular example. So the next configuration in the microstates is if we have one in the zero level, one in the one level, and one in the two level. Remember that this one has one quantum energy and this one has two quantum energies, so combined that gives us three quantum energies, and we'll find out that there's six different ways in which we can take those three particles and rearrange them in the different levels. So if we then calculate numerically how to figure out what the number of microstates are, we have three factorial, divided by 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 0, 1 factorial, and 0 factorial. In other words, we have 1 in the 0 state, 1 in the 1 state, 1 in the 2 state, and 0 in the 3 state. And so that shows us that we should have 6 microstates. And if you don't work that out, you can see there's indeed 6 microstates. The thermodynamic probability is 6, or normalized at 6 out of 10, or 60% of the time we'll have the electrons in this configuration. And then finally, we have a third configuration where all three could exist in the N1 energy level. So in the N1 energy level, you can see that each electron would have one quantum level of energy. So we have one, one, one. All three of them contain one energy or quantum energy combined to three quantum energies. And again, you can see mathematically that comes out to just one particular way in which this can be arranged. Therefore, the thermodynamic probability is 1, or normalized, we can see that 10% of the time you'd see this configuration. So you can see that the way we calculate macrostates and microstates works just as well, and beautifully so, when we have different energy levels under a specific constraint. So you can see, we can then expand that, of course, to almost an infinite number of uh, combinations and probabilities, but you see this, this is how you would then go ahead and calculate that. 
So we'll see some more examples of something like this, but maybe a different constraint to see how we would do it when we have a different constraint. But that is how it's done when we include energy levels. Wow, first time.